Hello and welcome back to another Daisy King Skyline YouTube tutorial. Today we are going to be looking at item sizes and overrides. So you're going to need your Daisy tools open for this. You are also going to need your P drive mounted and your game data extracted. So now we're inside our P drive, just here. We're going to create a new folder, which is going to be our mod folder. You can call this whatever you want. I'm going to call this YouTube override. The video name. In this folder, I'm going to drag this config. You can download this config. The link will be in the description below. So I've just nicked this from one of my other mods. So we're just going to replace any DH stuff with YouTube override. Go YouTube underscore override. So you you want to set this to anything that's obviously yours, your name your mod name. So anything that I change here, you can change as well. Okay, so this can be just that. Let's save this. Happy days. So now let's go and make a new folder. this data and I like to do a folder structure so we'll call this one closing and we'll have another folder called storage okay so now let's go and look for some configs for some stuff that we can change. Let's go into the DZ, into the data, no, into DZ, into characters, and let's look at changing some tops. Okay, and we wanted one for storage. So let's go into gear. Um, let's go looking for the sea chest camping sea chest ah right okay let's type C see where it comes up CZ gear camping so it is in here. So I've not this config too. <coughs> so now we can go back to our override folder. Go into data, into clothing, and let's create a new config. Config.cpp. And let's drag that up here. Let's split these side by side. Okay, so now we're in the clothing config here. We can see this, DZ characters tops. Let's take the CFG vehicles and the CFG patches. We'll call this uh, YouTube override clothing. What we can do is we can remove all the units from here now. And required add-ons so the required add-ons is going to be the cfg patches of the config that you're trying to override so what we're looking for here is this class dz characters tops so if we take a copy of that come over here and we'll extend our required add-ons with characters and characters tops so now we have our CFG vehicles here. What we're going to do is we're going to bring, we're just going to copy this and we'll go like that. Now we have our start. So let's look at a piece of clothing to override. Okay. Um, let's go with Uh, 
tactical shirt. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to copy the color vice down to when it defines the first color. What we're going to do is we're going to put that in here. So this is inheriting from clothing. So now we need to change this inventory base to clothing. Now we just need to take out the stuff that we really don't need. So if we take out all this, you can change the weight of it there. Let's leave that in too. And take all these out. Take the damage system out. And the animation events. Now we're just left with this little piece here. Let's take a copy of this closing comment and just close that off. So now this CFG vehicles is closed with this comment and we have our tactical shirt color base right here. So this is where we can change the item size in itself when you put it in a container. And this is how much the inventory of the actual item is. So let's, for sakes, change the item cargo size to 100. So any tactical shirt should have 100 slots. And let's change the item size to, it's four by three, let's change it to two by two. So now every tactical shirt should only take this much space and have this much space. Okay, so now we can save this config. But what we do is we'll also take a copy of it. We can open up our folder, we can go to storage and we can make a new config. is we'll open that and we'll paste this in so we still have our tactical shirt color base stuff here what we'll do is we'll go over and draw a storage config and we will bring dz gear camping as a required add-on as the only required add-on we'll change this youtube override here clothing we'll change this to storage Now we can look for something to change the size of. Um, let's look for a barrel. Or drum. Or am I not searching the right thing? Okay. Oh no, it's going to do C6 now. Okay. So we take container base and we'll replace this clothing with container base. We take sea chest and we replace tactical shirt base with sea chest. And we also make the container base there. So the weight of the sea chest is 1,000, 10,000. The item size is 10 by 10, so let's make a sea chest 4x4. Four four. <clears throat> and I believe the item cargo size, so let's take this cargo selection here. So the item cargo size is already 100. Let's see if we can make this 200. And we should be able to save this config. So the C chest should be edited. And the tactical shirt color base should be edited. So now we're going to go back to our P drive. And we're going to make a new folder called at YouTube override. Yours will be, could be called what your mod's name is or your server mod. We'll go in here. We'll make a new folder called add on. 
now we can open add on builder go to our pay drive and we'll take the whole YouTube override folder and everything in it we'll go to destination directory go to our p drive and we're going to be looking for our at youtube override folder and we're going to put this into our add-ons folder this should look like this now and we'll have everything ticked in our options i'll make sure this is in the description this is exactly how your list of files to copy directly should be now we're going to click pack Now that's build successful. So this is how it should look. Let's go into our YouTube override folder, add-ons, and then we have our YouTube override.pbo. So now we're gonna launch Daisy offline community mode or community offline mode, okay. And now we're gonna load a local mod and we're going to select the at YouTube override folder. And we're gonna load mod. Make sure we have community offline mode on. And now we load up in the DayZ. Now we're in Daisy, we can spawn the sea chest. And we can in tactical shirt. Let's make sure we've got a HUD on. There we go, sea chest has 200 slots. And it's quite small. Tactical shirt has a hundred slots. And that's quite small. And all the tactical shirts will be the same. Let's just spawn them all in just to double check. There we go. They've all got a hundred slots. Thank you for watching the video. I hope this has helped. Have a good day Z and I'll see you in the next one.